Fayal, Mitri is here and welcome to my next video about AA battery testing. Previously we already tested Varta non-rechargeables and now let's check Varta rechargeables. As always, when you searching for cells from some brand, you can find uh, uh, various capacities. Here we have from 1000 to 2500 milliamp hours, but with Varta we also have two lines. We have power and we have endless line and interesting that with comparable capacity 1000 here and 1350 here we have really different comparison with uh, Varta Alka lines in digital cameras here we have only this pack can uh, replace only 2000 Alka lines but here this pack can replace 8000 Alka lines so Let's check if uh, buying one with lower capacity worth it. So maybe let's check. Not, not maybe. Sorry. Let's check if uh, this low capacity one will be some kind of better than high capacity one. And one moment here that we will not able to check, but it's interesting. With high capacity one, we have up to 500 cycles, 500 recharges rated cells and with low capacity we have 3500 rechargers so probably these ones will last long after all but we will not obviously able to check this number of cycles and here we have power ones so let's check maybe you should should you buy power or should you buy endless maybe this line will be better at high currents, but as for me, uh, rechargeables always uh, uh, always handle high currents without problems, so why Warta have two lines? Let's check. And we will start with endless, 1000 milliamp hours, and it's interesting that uh, it has 3500 recharge cycles. It's a uh, really, really, really high endurance. I'm sure if they will able to survive that long, but it sounds promising. Normal card, cardboard packaging here, nothing special. So let's take a look at the results. Here is the raw data for water rechargeables. Endless 1000 milliamp hours off the shelf. I will not comment uh, these graphs because they are mostly typical for rechargeables. Uh, I will only comment if something unusual will pop up. What are rechargeables? Endless 1000 milliamp hours after they charge. And as you can see, interesting comment is uh, internal resistance is keeping really low until the very last moment. So I think it's a good sign. Now let's check intermediate uh, variant, Varta Endless, rechargeable and uh, it's have capacity of 1900 mAh. It has less cycles than previous one, but higher capacity. Same packaging, same form, so everything the same except numbers, so let's check these ones. Varta Rechargeables Endless. 1,900 mAh hours of the shelf. Nothing special here. Water rechargeables endless. 1,900 mAh hours uh, after recharge and nothing special here. But I just like to mention that internal resistance is quite low, and for really low currents, it seems like. Uh, I not discharge the battery fully because the voltage is still stable, still not, not falling, so maybe they can work with even lower end of the charge voltages. And it's time for last Varta Endless, highest capacity and lowest endurance. Except the numbers, they look exactly the same like previous ones. Let's take a look at the, their characteristics. What uh, rechargeables endless to and half amp hours of the shelf, and here we have some fail because I not able to get results for 0.2 amps. I'm sorry, but we will not have these graphs. Sorry. 
here is water rechargeable endless two and a half amp hours after recharge and as it was with uh, first water rechargeables endless after recharge internal resistance really is really low until the very last moment and again i think it's a good sign it's a good sign of good battery okay when we finished with uh, water endless let's take a look at the power line slightly different wrapping this part is silver and exactly the same uh, we exactly the same packaging in all other moments let's test uh, them here is another line of Vartas Varta rechargeable power uh, 1300 million powers of the shelf the same Varta but after recharge and as you can see voltage is quite stable until the very last moment and then it quickly drops down it's uh, typical for rechargeables and because it's firing almost vertically i think it can it can tell us about the quality of the battery so yeah it almost fully uh, give all of the power in the high voltage zone so i think it's quite good and it's time for last Varta rechargeable power and then we will uh, compare them all so let's go and the last Vartas rechargeable in our current testing 2100 mina powers of the shelf the same Vartas after recharge And let's take a look at the capacity comparison of Vartas, different rechargeable Vartas. Actually, it's uh, quite boring to compare rechargeables because they more or less the same I mean, in, in the Varta product line. As you can see, here we have uh, really, uh, really normal picture. Uh, if you have more capacity, at the package you have more capacity in the tests and uh, this rule is the same with uh, higher current as you can see with the increasing current we got almost no losses of capacity so all of Vartas uh, are handling uh, high currents really good and as you can see uh, self discharge is also quite low here we don't have the data for 0 0.2 amps, uh, I failed to obtain the data. But actually, as you can see, these uh, groups of the, the data is not so different. So, yeah, uh, losing in storage, it's uh, pretty low for the Vartos. Yeah, this is a really low self-discharge one. So let's take a look at the energy comparison. And actually, picture more or less the same but maybe one interesting moment that i can tell surprisingly looks like a more look, looks like varta endless 1000 uh, holds uh, high loads better than others maybe water rechargeable power is uh, also handling it quite good but with uh, high capacity for example here we have two and a half uh, amp hours with higher capacities, increasing the lower current leads to lowering uh, energy. And uh, it's, it's this uh, energy losses is more significant for high uh, capacity batteries. The same for power line. So surprisingly, lower, uh, lower capacity ones handling this increasing current quite good. You have, uh, you, you can see we have almost the same energy levels for the 0 0.1 and 0 0.5 amps, but uh, here we have uh, like a ladder, like a stairs. We have the picture of like a stairs, so yeah, even for endless and for power with increasing the current 
a capacity you want have lower energy surprise for me but yeah and let's take a look at the internal resistance comparison actually for almost all almost all situations internal resist resistances are quite low so I think for, for, for some reason I don't know why you can see that for power line that should uh, hold uh, high loads quite well for power line we for some reason have a higher internal resistance I mean not only in the end in the 800 millivolts no for 1000 millivolts also we have higher total resistance than for that we have for uh, endless line which is not optimized for high power as I can understand from the packages packaging so it seems like the winner from internal resistance perspective is uh, what uh, endless what rechargeable endless two and a half hours so bigger capacity means lower internal resistance but as you remember from previous uh, charts bigger capacity also ha means higher losses on the high current so if you have something that uh, demands a really high current you really high power really high current so probably you should buy a lower capacity battery uh, it will handle these loads uh, quite well and with the uh, aging of the battery there are good chances that it will uh, hold longer if you have something that requires not so not so high current no, it's not a photo flash for example just uh, just a digital camera I think over the endless two and half amp hours it's the best option because it has uh, really high capacity and really low internal resistance which is as for me signs of the not ideal but really good battery thank you for watching i hope you find this this video useful thank you and bye bye